So these are the two tabs you need to bend, this one and this one. So I bent this one already, as you can see. So bend that, and now I'm going to bend the second tab. Try two. It's very tricky to get this. Get a little bit of time, try to be careful and not to damage the rubber there. I'm not sure what the functionality of that is, but if you get those tabs straightened out and then this is where the nozzle gets removed. Seems like if I could pry in here a little bit, I need to pull right out. And then you pull it out. There's a spring in there. Make sure the spring stays in there. And this is the rubber grommet that needs to be replaced. So I'll go ahead and replace this. Pull this old one out. You find screwdriver. I'm not too worried about damaging this one because I have replacements. It is in there pretty good. Just get it over that lip. This one I broke. So that's okay because we have a replacement. So now get a little bit of silicone and put a little bit of silicone in here. This will help slip the new one on without damaging it. And that's not the camera shaking, that's me. It could be the camera too. <laughs> so. Just like that. Get that lubricated up nicely. I'll get a, uh, a new silicone rubber grommet. This is the part number from McMaster Car. Take this new New guy here, slip it on, and roll it. Try not to damage it, that's the important one, not to damage of course, because it's the new one. look around it make sure you didn't rip it or tear it and then what I do is I put a little bit of extra dielectric grease on there to help seal it and then we we'll take this and plug it back in center it in the spring plug it back in and then we'll just bend the tabs back in place. Well, this 